morning welcome to the vlog today i have people coming to view my flat this always makes me feel really weird when i move out of somewhere when someone comes into my space before i'm gone it's so normal but I'm hoping these people want it so I don't have to go through this again. I have viewed so many flats in my life where I've gone in and people just haven't bothered to tidy up. When I went and viewed the house that I bought for the first ever time, it was, I believe a bank, not, it can't have been a bank holiday Monday or maybe a Sunday or something. And there was literally people laying on a mattress in the living room hungover. Yeah crazy but me being me i obviously want my home to look immaculate if anyone's coming into it so i had a massive tidy up last night massive clean and everything is spot on i just need to keep it that way throughout the day because they're coming at 5 p.m but you can probably see it is a bright and sunny day here in london and it's actually the perfect day for them to come and look at the flat because it really does look stunning in the sun and i mean like i said i want them to get it so i don't have to do this over and over again but I've curled my hair and it's just gone so terribly. And it really shouldn't have because it's day two hair, which is perfect for curling. Uh, it just, I mean, I, I assume the answer is I just did it terribly. It was my fault. <laughs> but today I need to start sorting through my cupboards. I'm going to have my collagen. And yeah, I need to start basically sorting things out, getting rid of things that I am not going to, not getting rid, but like packing away things that I'm not going to use and making sure I know what food I have so I can start using that up. I've come to really enjoy this every day. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Let me show you the current state of the flat. And then, I mean, I need to keep it tidy throughout the day. That's the hard bit because I obviously have to work and get things out. So this is how the kitchen's looking. I obviously have flowers, which is amazing. I should probably take some of the clutter off the side. And then, yeah, I mean, it's not awful. I have all my makeup out from doing my makeup. I'll obviously put that away. That's kind of gross. And this is, oh, it's just such a beautiful home. I really, really hope they walk in and they really feel how wonderful this is. This is how the bedroom's looking. I've just done my hair, like I said, so I need to tidy that away. This is me in my little dressing gown right now. Don't we just love the reality of my life? I am gonna film and get dressed with me. So I'm just lounging around doing all my morning emails in this. And then the bathroom is, let's turn the light on looking pretty tidy to be fair and i know this is what makes me feel weird i know they're going to want to open cupboards and things to look inside and you never know if they're the type of people that are going to feel too awkward to do it or the type of people that just literally don't care and are going to walk in and open the cupboard so i want to make sure everything's just neat and tidy and there's nothing that shouldn't be there like random stuff i think after today it's going to feel really real that i'm actually moving out i'm starting to put everything in kind of in order of when i'm doing things and getting everything prepped which is really exciting but still doesn't quite feel like it's actually going to happen i'm also fully on my hello fresh grind because i don't want to be buying more ingredients to keep in the house so that's something that i've definitely implemented because I will just fill my cupboards and I can't. I need to work my way through it. So yeah, this is helping. I've also just realized they're probably going to want to look in here, aren't they? You should probably tidy that up. I also don't know what I want to wear today. It's one of those really deceiving days where it's really bright and sunny. So I want to wear something that's, you know, cute and not warm, but it's also so cold. I am feeling a blazer vibe with like something white underneath. But if I do that, then I'm gonna be cold. What can I put under? Mm -hmm. I'm not made for winter. I think in winter I just, I wear the same things over and over again, which is fine, but not fine when I show you my outfits every day and it gets really, really boring. But we also haven't shown you my new favorite shoes. I mean, if you watch my Get Dressed With Me, you've definitely seen them, but look how stunning they are. I wanted some loafers, but if you know me, you know I have this obsession with things being the best that they can be or right and not wrong. And I didn't want to buy a pair of loafers that were just visually pretty. I wanted something where the materials were good. They were from a reputable shoemaker and you know, it's, it's silly and unnecessary, but I was like, you know what? This is important to me. So I did a lot of research and I found those and normally loafers ruin your feet. I used to have a pair from office that I loved, but they just weren't the best for my Feet. this is years ago and yes love them they're so nice they have so many different styles colors they i think they have those ones that i got in a matte finish as well i did i get the patent ones i think i did but yeah love them and they're so comfortable they're cushioned and they've got arch support 
which is so important because I will stomp in those. I do need to do a bit of like wearing in around the house just for the leather to give a little bit because I do not want blisters, but yeah, they feel amazing. My lips are looking really juicy today. I, <laughs> I just majorly overlined them. I'm not mad. Oh, my hair looks a little weird, doesn't it? I admitted defeat and pinned it up, but it doesn't look as cute as I thought it did. I can't get over how nice the weather is. It's literally making me so happy. So I have a call and then we're gonna start going through the cupboards and seeing what I can put away. What I want to do is basically dedicate one cupboard as the cupboard of things I'm not going to use between now and the time I move out. And that way I can get I can order maybe one box or yeah, no, I can order one like hopefully medium sized box and put the things in the box. And then that's like one box done. And I have this cupboard here that I can just load boxes in. I think that's the plan of action, but I need to hop on this call and then we'll do that. All right, this is the situ in the kitchen. I mean, I just need to work my way through the food, don't I really? But the cupboards that I need to sort is, this one down here has loads of random stuff. This one here and this one here. So let's hit this one first. I think it's just important to be as sorted as possible. Like I just would like to know what everything is. Like I'm not gonna use this recipe book between now and when I leave. So I can pop that on my pile with my book. I mean, I'm going to use that. I won't use this because I have another one in use. I will probably use this. And it's also good for me just to keep everything together like this. This goes in my slow cooker, so I should definitely put that in there. All of my bits from my KitchenAid, I'm just gonna put in there for now, and then I can sort. And then this is just my Nutribullet top. To be honest, I just need to like group everything together. Like this is a, a table runner. I'm not gonna use this, but it will be good for packing. So I will keep that out. Ooh, oh my goodness, they can use so many things with a neutral don't they? This is also gonna be a nice chance for me to have a clean out of all my cupboards. This is my vacuum charger. I don't know why that's in there. Okay, we're doing good. And then at the bottom here, this is, oh my gosh, I haven't sorted this out since I moved in. I have potatoes, they're fine, and onions, they're fine. Um, I have a jam thermometer. Why? I'm not gonna use that right now. That can go there. And then again, these are just all things that I have not used and will not use. I'm gonna keep the lint roller out though because I didn't even know I had one of those and I've needed one of those at so many different points. So that's gonna get used. Uh, plastic mini shot glasses that look dirty. That's gross. And just a kitchen pan that won't get used, but I can't really do much with that. Ooh, my Le Creuset. This is my Halloween collection. Will not get used and then a rolling pin. So this is fine, this can just be, I mean, maybe this is gonna be the cupboard now for where I pack things. That kind of makes sense. So these can all be things that are ready to be packed. And then hopefully I can just move everything that I do use up to the top shelf. And then I can slowly load this cupboard up, ooh, potato, with things that, you know, I wanna get packed up. I don't know, is this, are you like this? Do you like to be completely prepped as much as possible or would you literally wait until a few days before and then the movers come? I just don't want to feel like I have heavy weight like on my shoulders. If there was things in here, I mean, my, do I put this one? No, I'm not gonna put that in the book. If I had things in here that I didn't use, it would really weigh me down. So I'd rather get rid of those now and have a chance to pass them on to someone that is going to use them rather than, you know, pack them into a box to move them somewhere for me to not use them again. If there's one thing that this kitchen has an abundance of, it is cupboard space. Genuinely, I just feel like I have so much. So this is pretty much all of my kind of favorite kitchenware. I mean, I have my stoneware and my other pots and things just behind me. So I'm just gonna put there all my chopping boards and display boards. I have this tray, which I'm not gonna get rid of. And then just make sure I know where everything is. I mean, I am going to put my bread oven in the box because I have it here. It's a bit of a shame that I don't have the boxes for my other things. But like I said, I have that table runner, so I'll be able to use that. I think a lot of it when moving is just being really clever with what you have. Like I never get rid of any bubble wrap whenever I, <laughs> whenever I like get, you know, things in the post. Uh, oh no, I can't remember how this came. Okay, I figured it out. Amazing. Okay, so that cupboard is fine. I just wanna know where everything is and that I don't have, you know, excessive things. This is like the pre-packing packing. All right, this is the cupboard that's a little crazy. So in here is all of my kilner jars, all of my stoneware. These all get used all the time. And for that reason, it's a mess. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here that I want to pass on, but this can go into the two pack cupboard because I'm not gonna use that as Christmas themed. And I have other bowls. I just realized I called this a bowl. I called it a bowl because I knew subconsciously I have the bowl and I need to take the bowl out as well. But aside from that, I'm pretty sure everything in here could potentially get used. So that's fine. And it just looks way more organized now. The cupboard that's going to be the killer is this one. Um, yeah, it's full of stuff but i'm gonna eat some lunch first and then we'll tackle that one because i'm so hungry so i'm gonna eat this pack of <laughs> smoked salmon which is potentially the bougiest thing i've ever done okay well would highly recommend if i did this at home my mum would have gone mental well my mum doesn't really ever go, go mental but she would have been like um why did you eat all the smoked salmon so you know how everyone has their drawer of stuff or rubbish this is mine and it happens to be a cupboard. So, <laughs> oh, I'm a bit embarrassed. I don't think I've touched anything on the top shelf. I actually know what's in here and I'm so embarrassed. These are my Christmas decorations that I did not put up this year. They're my Disney princesses and I need to find a better way to store them. There is padding in there, it's not just them, but they're very delicate. I then have this diffuser from Pooh. Shh. Poosh, poosh. Uh, again, don't really know what to do with it. Don't want to get rid of it. And then I have my steamer, which I don't get on very well with. So anyone, if anyone has any steamer recommendations, so random, I would love, love them. Here I just have a bunch of sunglasses and insoles. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all of this. I think maybe these are kind of heel grips and things. I think these just go into the category of random. I then have an Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Don't know why. Is this brand new? <gasps> Stop it! I just finished my other one. Well, that's made my day. Well, this whole thing was worth it just to find that. So then let me move you down. Some of this is legit work stuff, so it's fine. But my makeup I've hidden under there, obviously, because they're coming to view the place in like an hour and a half. And I want that out of the way. This is my like filming shot. Oh, I missed this one. Okay, this is my craft. Bag. Again, I just these are things that I can't really get rid of because I want them. They just don't really have a home So I need to find somewhere in my house to organize my crafty things and pens oh, Pen organization. I have my new stuff in from Michael Van Clark. These are weights For Balloons, I feel like I'm gonna keep those because every time we go and get balloons they're like do you want weights? They're 99p and I don't want to have to say yes every time and I don't want to have to tie them around random pots which is what I usually do so if I'm going to keep those and then I never have to buy them ever again this is a mental note from me to me you own them you don't need to rebuy them then this is my like filming shelf which you can probably see and then at the bottom I have I don't even know what I have oh another crafty thing that should go with that one and then in here I just have a bunch of samples from sofa.com that I ordered myself ages ago i have my samples from lick they do this really cool thing where they do peel and stick samples so you don't have to paint and you don't have to like wait for it to dry or anything you literally peel the back off these stickers and stick them onto your wall and then you can see what it looks like and then i have just the sofa samples from the sofa i bought and yeah just random i want to keep all of these though because these are things that i want to use somehow maybe in a scrapbook about the house i don't know but i'm not getting rid of them so I think what I'm going to do, and then I've got my wood floor samples down here. I think what I'm going to do is class all of this as kind of not like random. <laughs> it's not a junk box. They're, like I don't actually think there's much in here. I mean, do I need my boxes for my watch and my tablet? Do you keep those things? I, I do, but I'm like, do I need it? Let me know. Should I keep them or should I just get rid? And then I just have the box for like my TV things. I think that's fine. I actually think, don't think that's as bad as I thought. I thought that was terrible. I thought there was loads of random stuff crammed in there. And it turns out that it's not really. I never showed you these. I ordered these from Zara Home and they're the cutest little Laurel pillowcases. But they only had them in the kids section. So they didn't do a king size one, which is so sad. So I couldn't buy the duvet cover, but I got the cushions. Well, the pillows. What did I get square ones? Did I get cushions? No, I got normal pillow size. Can't wait for the bed in the house. So I've come to the conclusion that I absolutely do not want to be here when they come and look around. <laughs> Initially, I was like, oh, it's fine. Uh, but firstly, I have too much to do and I need to go and get it done. And also, just 
I can just feel the awkwardness already and it's not even happened and I just don't want to put myself through that. So I'm going to email the letting agent and let him know that I'm not going to be here. I'm going to go to the co-working space with my coffee and do some work. But first, I happen to know I have some parcels dotted around the building. So I need to go, well not dotted around the building. I know there's one in the lobby. I know there's one in the other lobby and... I need to go and find them. I thought the sensible thing was to go and find the parcels first. So here we are. Let's open. Firstly, from Amazon, I ordered a book. You will have seen in one of my previous vlogs, I was saying that I watched Tara's video that I really enjoyed. And I've been watching a few others since. And this book manifests seven steps to living your best life. Apparently is really good. And like I was saying in that vlog, not preachy. So sounds like my vibe. Uh, I don't know what, oh, I think this is a jumper. I bought a jumper and then I ordered it in a different size because it was too long. Oh no, this isn't the jumper. This is a gift for someone. I love it when companies send, this is from Harrods, I love it when they send something with no packaging that literally just requires me to put it in the recycling bin. It brings me so much joy. Initially, I was really happy with the size that I got. And then I was trying it on with some different things because I think you really have to do that. And it was just a little bit too long. Oh yeah, this is way better. Uh, how stuns is this? It's a cashmere blend and I got a small in the end. Last one I had was a medium. And when they said oversized, they meant oversized. Well, that takes a huge thing off my list. Okay, I've got my stuff. My flat has been left in a very fair manner. I think it looks quite cute to be honest. I've got my coffee, I've got my laptop, uh, my glasses are in the bag. So let's go upstairs to the co-working space. By the way, I am gonna do a full flat tour before I move out, like a full finished flat tour. And I'm going to take you all around the building. I'm gonna take you down the corridor, outside. There's all these weird things for like safety that I don't show, but I'm gonna wait until I've moved out to post that. So I can literally show you everything. Like obviously I've been very open with <laughs> where I've been whilst living here. It's no secret where I live, but you know, just, I feel like you can make things too easy. You know what I mean? It's 7 p.m. I have been here since four. I haven't stopped looking at a screen the whole time. So I need to uh, to call it a day. I wanna go and eat some dinner and then I really want to go for a walk. I just need to like get off the screen. Today has been so productive, but too much screen time. I can't find my gloves. I've just had some gyoza for dinner, really random. And I, yeah, I wanna go on a walk, but I know it's gonna be freezing out there. I just, I know I have gloves here, but I don't know where they are. Like I can picture them. They're the ones that match this hat, but I have no idea where I put them. And last time I went on a walk, my hands got really cold and I didn't have gloves. And I spent the whole walk switching hands out in my pockets. I don't really want to do that, but. I might just go and listen to music and then I don't actually need my hands out. I'm back and it's time for an evening drink. I am so thirsty tonight. I feel like maybe I just haven't drank enough today. I don't know. And then I'm gonna put a couple of ice cubes in this or it's gonna be so hot. So I haven't filled you in on how the viewing went. I had a sneaky look on my ring camera. It came up when they came in. And I was like, I'm not gonna be that weirdo and watch them. But I obviously saw. And when I clicked it, basically the person was like, wow, this is so nice. And I was like, okay, cool, I get the vibe. Leave you to it. So I hope that's good. I guess the letting agent isn't gonna let me know if they want it or not because it's none of my business, but I would like to know. I'm very curious. It's still boiling. So I thought I'd share some of the things that I do with you in the evening to set me up for a good morning. So I have less reasons to not get up if that makes sense. I am back well and truly on my 6 a.m. grind and loving it. And every day, I still have a few days like where I wobble. Like last night, I didn't, sorry, please ignore the dryer. I didn't get to sleep very easily. So I went to sleep maybe 40 minutes later than I usually would and struggled to get up. Like I almost didn't, but I did it. And I'm so glad I did because again, <laughs> it just reminds me why I do it because I'm so productive and happy when I do it. But as with anything, if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. So we have to prepare. The first thing I like to do is make sure my little luxury for the morning is ready and that is my coffee. I just make sure that my coffee cup is clean and ready charged because this is an electric one that keeps my coffee clean. Coffee clean, coffee warm and I make sure my machine's all ready and you know ready to go so I can just literally switch it on in the morning and get my coffee because that's what gets me out of bed. Maybe that's a little sad but you know Little luxury. I also make sure that my bottle is ready for me to take to the gym in the morning because again, it's just one less thing to do and one more reason to do it in the morning. So I'll just fill this up and then put it in the fridge. 
I like to make sure that my space is clean and tidy. This is where I sit in the morning, so I like to make it look as inviting as possible. And then, you know, just the little things. And it all makes such a difference in the morning because then my morning is more enjoyable. Like if I woke up in the morning, went and sat down on the sofa and didn't know where the remote was, I immediately would get a little bit annoyed. So I just want to prevent as much of that as possible. I make sure my gym bag is on the back of the door and ready to go with everything that I need in it. And then down here, I mean, you can see my little turn down service that I do for myself, but down here I will put my gym clothes. And this sounds like a really minor thing, but it helps. I also get a pair of underwear out and then literally I wake up in the morning, walk into the bathroom on the way, grab these, you know, clean my face, clean my teeth, put my clothes on in the bathroom and then that's so many steps already done. I was watching a video on YouTube the other day where the person was saying they give themselves like a turn down service. And I do this. It is the little luxuries. Every night before I shower, because I shower every night before bed, because I cannot get into bed unshowered, because my bed is sacred, my bed is clean. And I will come in, I will take the big pillow off my bed, only one of them, because I <laughs> use this sometimes to like, I don't know, make me feel more cushioned in the bed. So I don't take that one off, but I take the big pillow off, I peel this back, I will spray some room spray or like pillow spray. I will air the room out for a minute or so, not, not long. Uh, not so it's got enough time to get cold, but just so I get some fresh air in here, that helps me sleep so much. And just little things like that, I put my slippers next to my bed and I just make it a really welcoming environment. So I don't feel like, I get out of the shower, I get into my pajamas, and then I have to come in and do do all these things. They're all done for me, and it's really easy and just, yeah, lovely. I don't know. It's the little habits, isn't it? I genuinely think making the everyday things as enjoyable as possible is the key to a happy life. So, my friends, it is officially that time of night. I've just put some oil in my hair, and I'm off to go and do my night routine. I have a lovely little, like, 20 minute night routine that I do when I get into bed. I have this LED mask that I use. It's just lovely. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. It's feeling very strange. I'm back in one of those weird transitional phases and I'm feeling like way more sorted now today after going through pretty much every single cupboard, which is a great feeling. I mean, I still have a while here, so I'm not gonna, you know, rush to do anything, but I just want to be prepared so it doesn't sneak up on me, you know? But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have a thumbs up, it will go a long way and I will see you next Monday. Goodbye.